My goal is to watch 100 new movies I've never seen before this year. This is my first update. Welcome everybody, if you are new, this is your first time seeing my face, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. If you like reviews, rankings, talking about Star Wars, Marvel, horror, independent films, Oscars, marathons, like if you like all of that type of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a member of our awesome community. Anyway, 100 Movies Project 2021. Last year, my goal was to watch 25 foreign films. I only got to like 15. This year, I decided to kind of make a giant, a giant list and goal of watching 100 new films I've never seen before. So far, I'm at eight, but it's also because I've been watching a lot of Clone Wars. There's a lot of good content coming out on Disney Plus. Like we had WandaVision, now we have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. There's going to be more Star Wars stuff. Like it's, it's just a busy year for me. I also am streaming over on Twitch. <laughs> Go check out my Twitch link down below. So I have so much stuff going on that it's hard for me to have free time to watch some of these movies, but I've been making a list on my notes on my phone of a bunch of movies that I plan on watching this year. I think I have like 60 some odd movies right now that's on the list and I have to include more, but I'm going to go over the eight films that I watch, give you guys a quick kind of review on these movies or my thoughts on these movies. I will skip some of them that I have specific videos for. I'll kind of post the card or whatever, like right here or here, probably right here, right? Cause it's like opposite for me. I'll post it so you guys can go get that link to check out that video specifically for my thoughts on that movie. Let's kind of just get through this. I did watch Shawshank Redemption, did a video on it. Don't need to explain more. It's just, it's a, it's a phenomenal movie. Casino Royale. I watched Casino Royale. It's kind of an interesting story. So my internet went down one night and I had no internet for hours. And so I decided, you know what? This is a great time, Nick, to actually watch a movie that you plan on watching this year. In Casino Royale, I have the 4K. I was like, you know, I want to watch as many James Bond films as I can going into uh, No Time to Die, which I'm very excited about. And so I want to watch all the Daniel Craig Bond movies. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all of the James Bond films compendium or the, the complete collection, but I do want to at least watch the Daniel Craig Bond films. And I got to say, Casino Royale was a fun movie. This is a great time. I loved Skyfall. And I think I even like Casino Royale maybe even a little bit more. I love what they do with this film. I love Mads Mikkelsen as the villain. I think he's a great villain in anything he is in. But to me, I mean, it's, it's the chemistry between Eva Green and Daniel Craig. I love what they do on screen. They have great chemistry. Uh, I love all of the moments when they're literally at the casino playing poker. Like, I love that. Like, it's it's so different to me than what I imagined James Bond to be. And it's a movie that really knows what it is. It plays on the strengths of the spy espionage film and the, the lore and the love of the craft of the franchise of James Bond, which I really do appreciate and love and adore that they really care so much about this character. And it felt like it was a, a new beginning, but also at the same time, like a continuation of where James Bond has been before. And it's a very nice, easy movie to get you into Daniel Craig as James Bond, as the character. And I really had a fun time with it. I love Casino Royale. I think it's a really, really great movie and I can't wait to watch it again. Roma, I did a video for that. You can go check it out. Technically, it was my first time watching it all the way through because the first time I tried watching it, it, it was just boring and it's still kind of boring, but there's gonna be a title card right up above. You can go check out that video. It's one of my favorite videos actually because the editing on that video is pretty sick. Star Wars, The Clone Wars, the movie. I also have a video on that. I got to watch finally every theatrically released Star Wars movie. Um, basically, it's the show. Just It's like a few episodes of the show combined. That's, that's basically what it is. And then One Missed Call. I also have a video on that. I don't want to go over any of those films so I'm kind of just mentioning those off the top. I'm also looking at my screen because Guys, it's been a long time since I've seen some of these movies and I kind of forget, so I need to look at my list to make sure that I cover all the bases. But yeah, uh, a couple more movies that I haven't discussed yet. One of them being Evil Dead 2. That's right, Evil Dead 2 is a movie I had not seen. I've only ever seen, before Evil Dead 2, the original Evil Dead in the remake. 
and I love the Evil Dead franchise. I love the first film. It's a classic to me. It's one of the only movies ever in my life that's really absolutely scared me. And the remake is one of the best remakes of a horror film in the past two decades. I really enjoy what they did with the Evil Dead remake. And so going into Evil Dead 2, I knew it was gonna be a lot more satirical. I knew it was gonna be you know, more on the nose. And it is that, but it's also got some really good scary moments in the film. I felt like the film does a nice job of kind of being the beginning to the Evil Dead franchise, but also still understanding that even though the first film is not necessarily kind of canon, it still is a part of this giant scope of a universe. It's crazy, it's goofy, it's weird. And that's what I love about the Evil Dead franchise. It doesn't take itself so seriously. It has those horrifying moments, but it also finds that time to have that levity, have that relief in there with the comedy, with some of the witty, witty humor. And I, I really just enjoyed Evil Dead 2. And I'm looking forward to watching Army of Darkness. I've been trying to watch it. I've just got to find time and I will find time definitely over the next couple weeks probably. The next movie is a really bad movie. I was planning on making a video. So in February, at the end of February, I was actually planning on releasing a marathon video of me watching nothing but a bunch of terrible movies. But I, I never really found the creativity in the video. It was one of those weird things where I shot a bunch of stuff and it just didn't feel right to me. It didn't feel like it meshed well. It kind of felt forced in a way and I just didn't like the result of it. So I watched a few of those movies and uh, two of them made it on the list because these are two movies that I actually really did want to watch at some point in time. And uh, one of them is Howard the Duck. That's right, Howard the Duck. I had never seen it. And boy, was I not missing out, to be honest with you. This movie has duck boobs in it. Like seriously, it has duck boobs. Yeah, yeah, you heard me right. George Lucas was the producer on this film. I, I, I just really don't understand. I, I don't understand how you could have messed this thing up so bad. It's bad. Like Leah Thompson is gorgeous. She saves the movie for me because I, I've always had a big crush on her. But other than that, this movie is so forgettable. The villain is bizarre and weird. It's like a demon thing. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I don't understand this movie. I know it's like some to some people like a cult classic, but I just, I absolutely, I was infuriated by this movie. It has so many stupid lines in it, things that don't make sense. Howard himself is not a very fun character. And again, duck boobs. Who wants duck boobs in a movie? No one. The last movie I want to mention in this video is another really bad film. Probably the worst film out of all of them that I could have chosen, and that is a movie that's really not even a movie, but it is. Birdemic, Shock and Terror. Yeah, I watched this. Um, oh my gosh, and it was, uh, it was it was just awful. There's nothing good about the movie. Like honestly, I hated every second of it. I, the movie looked like a YouTube video from like 2005, like when YouTube just broke out on the scene. And I believe it's like a 2011 or 2012 movie or something like that. It looks terrible. The CGI is awful. Uh, they use coat hangers as weapons. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous and most insane plot I've ever seen in a film. And it's just, it's it's horrendous in every way. I don't, I don't know how anybody could think of this movie and be like, I, I really enjoyed that. It's it's not even, again, it's not even a movie. It, it just, it has the video quality of a 1998 potato. That's just what it is. And I hated it. I hated it. Uh, I kind of wish I, I released the video now just because like I did torture myself through that movie. It was, it was really bad, dude. Like it was so bad. It was so bad. Anyway, guys, that is going to be my update for this time around. Eight movies, not a ton, but I will be having a lot more as it was announced by my good friend Nathan Hale Movies or Cinema Nate now. We did a live stream. I am, be, I am going to be doing a 24-hour movie marathon once again this year. April 24th is the day. I will link more information down below in the description of this video if you guys want to check out that live stream that we did where we talked about all the criteria and the things that we're going to be doing for this marathon and again it's going to be movies that we've never seen before it's gonna be a lot of fun we have all the categories we have recommendations not only is nate going to be joining me in this but jackson my good friend jackson and also nate's very good friend jackson kittrell is going to be joining us and it's gonna be awesome because he's gonna be starting his youtube channel so 
definitely uh, stay tuned for that video. That video is going to be insane. It's always uh, such a fun video to do. Last year was crazy, and this year is gonna be even more crazy, especially with the picks that I have this year. I'm really excited about some of the movies that I have on my list, and they're all movies that are on my 100 movies list. So anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys liked my thoughts on some of these movies, let me know down below in the comment section. What did you think about some of these movies? Have you seen them before? What's on your 100 movies list that you wanna watch this year? Or what movie do you just wanna watch this year that you haven't seen? Let me know any of your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this, especially for that 24 hour movie marathon. You guys do not wanna miss that video. That video is one of the most popular videos uh, on my channel that I, that I did last year. So you definitely wanna stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.